Hi my loves, this is Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the dangers of social media influencers who are not related to prison posting jokes and things about prison life that can actually cause a lot of damage to young people, to people who are trying to make changes in our broken criminal justice system. And it is related to one post that somebody sent me. So if you're interested in how severe and dangerous this is, or at least from the perspective of a prison wife, please keep watching. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I am the founder of a nonprofit called Strong Prison Wives and Families, the author of a book called The Comeback Code. I've been coaching prison wives and family members since 2009 and I've been told, it's so humbling, I've been told that without me people wouldn't be able to get through their journey. We do not glorify or glamorize prison or street life here. What we do is try to look for the silver linings, seckles, attain them, and make sure our lives are better after this one shot deal when our loved ones come home so they can get out, they could stay out, we could break statistics, we could beat stigma, and we can live happily ever after. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe so you can see more of this beautiful face, and ring that bell to be notified every single time I post a new video. Last night, I was just about to go to bed. It was probably 11.30. I got a notification that I had a DM on Instagram. So I checked it really quick. And it was a message from one of our amazing subscribers, shout out to Raquel. And she was really bent out of shape. She was really emotionally upset about this post that she saw on TikTok. This post was by an account called Shelbert the Pervert. I'll put a picture of her account right here. And what she's doing is she's telling people to go get a date by going to writeaprisoner.com. This girl only has three, six, she only has nine posts on TikTok. She has 3,097 followers and this one Write a Prisoner post has 2.1 million views. There were over 2,000 comments and the site Write a Prisoner was actually crashed because of this post, because people were going on there because of her behavior and what she says in here. And I'm gonna play the post for you guys. I'll play the little video snapshot on TikTok. Is it even called a post on TikTok? Her tick, her talk? I don't know what it's called. I am so old, I'm not up with this. I made a TikTok, I used it for a couple days around Christmas. I had a lot of fun with it, but I can't keep up with all of the social media platforms for strong prison wives and families, so I just play on it here and there. Anyhow. How to get a boyfriend check. So she says, how to get a boyfriend check. And then it links to writeaprisoner.com. And it's a screenshot of her typing in write a prisoner on her computer. And then she takes you onto the site and she shows you exactly how to get an ad. I'm so curious if she got paid by write a prisoner for this because it's weird. So on these write a prisoner profiles, it has the inmate's name. It shows an image of the prisoner. It shows if they're looking for legal help. It shows if they're looking for praying partners. It shows their gender, their sexual orientation, their institutional email, and then it links right to their JPay account. I don't know if they have this for CoreLinks. JPay is the email system in state prisons and CoreLinks is in federal prisons, by the way. It also says when their profile started, when their profile ends. So I guess you could sign up for it as a subscription. You get a year subscription, I'm assuming. And then underneath there, it has incarceration information. Earliest release date, latest release date. If they are on death row, they've been incarcerated since, and then it says the year. If they're serving a life sentence and the, it says yes or no. And then it says incarcerated for, and it's a link that says see crime. So you can click on that link. And then she says, make sure that you check their crime information or whatever. And the title of this post is how to get a boyfriend check. Let's go through some of the comments together and then I'll tell you my views. I shut the sound off of my phone because that's annoying. 2,953 comments. This is crazy. Then people are laughing. Somebody said, why did I just spend 20 minutes looking at this? And then with a laughing emoji, it's so interesting. Someone actually said they found their man there. At least you know he won't be messing around with other girls. Mama, I'm in love with a criminal. Y'all are on Tinder, I'm on right a prisoner. We're not the same. This is not what we meant by cuffing season. I need to add a disclaimer. This is nothing to do with 
people who are MWI, please don't think that I'm talking to you. This has nothing to do with you if you've already met your loved one on a pen pal website and things are going well. Okay. If you've met your loved one on a pen pal website and you are fresh into this, I will post my red flags in a prison relationship video up there so you could watch it. I also have a green flags in a prison relationship that I will post up there as well. So you could see the things that could kind of be sticking out that maybe aren't right. And then you could see the things that he's doing really well or she's doing really well and things potentially could progress. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is what's the average age of a user on TikTok? Let's find out. What's the average age of a user on TikTok? So you're telling me that if the average age of a user on TikTok is 13 to 18 years old, why are we telling them to use write a prisoner to do a boyfriend check? You just sent millions of preteen and teenage people to look at convicts and criminals. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, even if you're over 18 years old, 100% of the people, 100% of the people, at least that I've been in contact with, and I've coached hundreds of thousands of prison wives and family members online since 2012, 100% of the people that only want to write to somebody as a pen pal, they do not want to develop a relationship. If they write to the gender that they are attracted to, it turns romantic each and every time each and every time. And there are so many people who are on these pen pal sites that are looking to go fishing. They're looking to throw out a line online and see what they can catch. Hmm. From this TikTok user, they caught a lot of jail bait, that's for sure. Because I think to 13 to 18 year olds, this is so cool. You don't wanna to listen to your parents. You wanna break the rules. You wanna be a rebel, my God. When I was those ages, I was out trying to smoke cigarettes. I was sneaking out of my house in the middle of the night. I was not doing good things. Refer to the cult video. But, unless I post this first, and then if I did post this first, no, it's coming like tomorrow. It's just so sad to me and it's dangerous. It's dangerous. And I'm sorry if I'm offending you. If you met the love of your life on a pen pal site, you are the anomaly. You are a needle in a haystack. You are one in a million. And I still want you to be careful because I still have seen people who met their loved one on a pen pal site and everything seemed amazing and perfect. And they were the poster couple of people who would come out and be successful. And it crumbled when they got home because there were lies that were uncovered. There was manipulation. There were things going on behind the person's back because he was in prison and he could get away with it. Was it dire? Was it awful in one situation? No, but it was still dishonesty in other situations, really, really bad. In the worst situation, he took her life. I'll put that up there. So I just, I, I can't make myself clear enough how dangerous this is, how it's not a joke. This is not a joke and I am so sick of as this community being the butt of so many jokes. So how do we stop being the butt of jokes? We choose to live above. Ew, I just accidentally liked it on like, we actually had a few of our members report this post. And that's on daddy issues. Y'all want my ex, he's locked up and won't leave me TF alone. On this site, as a prison wife, these dudes write 100 women. So she's saying, I'm a prison wife and I'm telling you people on these sites write 100 women. Oh my God, this one says, when he's cute and in for committing a mass murder, heart eyes. The first one I clicked is on there until 2067 because of a homicide cry face. Glad to know I'm not the only one who checked out this website after this video. Thankfully somebody has his wits. He said, oh my god, sorry, but no sis. The website is so slow. That's because you are crashing it. Saving this as my last resort. Just in time for Valentine's. Tell me why I feel the need to go check out the site. Not looking for love, but I'll be somebody's pen pal. You're gonna fall in love, my friend. Y'all, I wanna write to someone, but I'm scared. Has anybody done this before? I like this person because they're so matter of fact. I work in a prison. If y'all are serious, be careful. I've seen some awful things, people. Who else went and instantly looked up this page? Let me, yo, let me find out one of you is writing to my man. It's on. Why would he be on here? LMAO, I love you for this. 
The only problem is I don't want to give my address. And see that right there shows how reckless this is. You are telling 13 to 18 year old girls to go on a prison pen pal website and give their mommy and daddy's address. I was on this trend way before it blew up. Trend? Trend? Now this is a trend? Y'all broke the site. I am not on. $40 a month, only free for the first five days, but good luck, girl. Oh, you have to pay for this? I did this after binging Orange is the New Black in a week because I was in love with Nikki, so I romanticized all prisoners. I don't know who Nikki is. Oh, Nikki, oh, got it. Nikki from Orange is the New Black. This is real stuff. Watch Life After Lockup. Same thing. Oh, I guess I have a news alert. I got stuck in a hole watching a marathon of Life After Lockup on New Year's Day, and I have to say, it's shocking. The results are shocking. I never thought that I would have been sucked into a hole and actually enjoyed it. Life after lockup and love after lockup are very different things. Do you guys wanna review the video? Post below. This needs to go viral, ha 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 ha. No, please don't. But like, what if they're a murderer and like when they come out, search for you? That's my fear. Do you see the maturity levels of the people that this post is reaching. I don't know how I feel about letting a prisoner have my home address, you know? Thank God. This is the next dating app I'm trying. So I'm not gonna go through, obviously, 2,500 comments, but, or I'm sorry, almost 3,000 comments, but the comments kind of fall into three buckets. One, you're crazy. Two, I'm kind of scared. This is intriguing, but I'm scared and I don't wanna give them my address. Or three, oh, I can't wait to try this. What a great way to find a boyfriend. And that's where most of the comments fall. And that's why Raquel was so scared about this and begged me to do a PSA video. And I jumped on it as well because that's reckless. You're telling 13 to 18 year olds to go meet criminals inside. Majority of criminals are in there not for being Boy Scouts not for helping old ladies cross the street, not for being altar boys, not for jaywalking, not for paying parking tickets late. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, there are good guys. Yes, there are people who are in there innocently, but the majority of people inside fit that bill. That stigma exists for a reason. Stigma against us exists for a reason, and this is partly the reason why. So when you guys see this, please report it, please don't engage, and please don't be the ones to do it. I love the Prison Wife pages. I have a Prison Wife page. I have an organization. I try my damnedest to make sure that it lives above and against the stigma that exists against us because once again, I am so sick of being the butt of everybody's joke. We do deserve a second chance. We deserve to walk this journey with our heads held high, we do not deserve for people to be making a mockery of us and sending, recklessly sending, 13 to 18 year old girls to a site to write a prisoner, giving out their mommy and daddy's home addresses, trying to find true love because they, what, don't want to look for it on the street, can't look for it on the street, I, I don't get it. This is disgusting, this is disturbing, and I don't know what else to say. And I just need to reiterate that there is nothing glamorous. There is nothing fun about this life. Sure, those of us that are stuck here are making the best of it, but this is a one-shot deal, for me at least. He was faced with something really crappy. He did something wrong, and I will admit that all day long. But you have to remember that you're going to be defending that every day for the rest of your life. And I'm going to point you to a video that I created, and I talked more about this in there, and I went really deep about this, and it's called What It's Really Like being with a lifer and I'll post the video up there. Basically in there I said this is fun and it's new and it's intriguing for a year, maybe a couple of years max. But then when you get deeper into this and you become further engrossed in this and you're down a road maybe five, seven, ten years later, you realize this is my life. And a lot of times you start questioning your decisions and then you're stuck. Well, somebody who's 13 to 18 that gets pushed into this because she sees a, a cool, famous 
social media influencer posting about it and how that's how she gets boyfriends and these are the reasons why it's so great and she sees in the comments that oh you have control over him he's not cheating on you this and that that's so dangerous because a lot of these guys i would say 95 percent of these guys and this is from people on the inside confirmed from people on the inside a lot of these guys are users and abusers and they're using these pen pal ads to get jailbait to fish i don't condone for little kids to meet a potential boyfriend on a dating app that is specifically for prisoners because what happens when this starts at 13 10 years later she's 23 and she doesn't have a dating life anymore because she's so engrossed in this because she's with a lifer because a lot of those comments clicked for lifers or even 18 years old now she's 28 and she missed out on all of her formative 20s i would never take back my 20s all of the mistakes all of the craziness all of the bad decisions all right some of them i would take back but what i've learned from all of the dating and i don't think that i'd be able to be the person i am and get through my relationship with adam now if I didn't have all of that, well, that's being stripped away from these girls because some influencer told them to go meet a guy on write a prisoner. And it's cool. And it's glamorous when you're 13 years old to be dating a bad boy. But then you wake up at 28 years old one day and you're stuck with that bad boy and you missed your life. You only get one life. You only get one childhood. So I just think that that was really immature. And I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below post them. Let me know what you think. If I'm being too harsh, if I'm overreacting, everybody that I sent the link to had the same exact reaction that it was just absolutely in bad taste and we need a rebuttal for it. So I'm here to do that. As somebody who has been involved with a lifer for over 10 years and I got into my relationship when I was 31. So I had all that behind me. I would never advise anybody, anybody that young to get involved in a relationship like this. It's not easy. It's the hardest thing you will ever do in your whole entire life. You need to be mentally strong, mentally mature. You need to also be able to decipher when you're being played or not. When you're 13 to 18 years old, you don't have those life skills. You don't have that life experience behind you. And you don't have people in your life who are going to be able to call that out. You're going to believe everything he says. You're going to be able to fall for the manipulation it's so easy to be controlled because you don't realize that's what's happening. I need to drive home the fact that there is nothing glamorous or fun about this. We're making lemons. We're making lemons out of lemonade. That's backwards. We're making lemonade out of lemons. We're taking a bad situation and making it as positive as we can. But I'm going to tell you guys, I've just went through something excruciating with Adam. And we'll talk about that on another video. But... We got some really bad news. As positive as I keep myself, as healthy as I keep myself, I felt myself slipping into a serious, serious depression. I didn't get out of bed for two days. I called out of work one day. I sat with Ben and Jerry's and wine for three nights in a row until finally, because I've done the work and I am old enough and I'm mature enough to be able to pull myself out of this, was able to slowly climb out of that hole that I was falling into. But it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of emotional maturity to be able to do that. Somebody that age cannot do that. And that's what I fear with this stuff. It's so sad. So I hope that girl gets reported. And that's not me coming down on her. She was being cute, she thought. But I hope that she realizes this isn't hate. I'm not bashing her. She was trying to be cute. And I get it. But it's like that feeling cute challenge. We need to open these people's eyes. So hopefully this video does. I love you guys. Keep staying strong. Keep loving strong. Keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to it. All being behind you. Lord knows I am too. It's going to take a really long time. It's taken a really long time. And I would never seek this out again. I would never do this with anybody else ever again. And I know that Adam would never get himself into this position ever again if and when he's rewarded his release. So it's a one shot deal because I won't. I won't. I don't have it in me. I do not have another bid in me. Just keep that in mind. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one.